were originally going to go to the South Pacific and get through the Panama Canal, but um, obviously that has all changed for this season. So instead, we're going to try maybe a northern route across the Atlantic. So we're going to go Bermuda to Maine, spend like a month in Maine, and then if, uh, if Europe opens, we'll, we'll cross from there. Well, we're well on our way to Bermuda, about a couple hours out of Puerto Rico, and Amanda's like, it smells like fuel. And I had to move away because that smell is nauseating. Cool. I'm like, well, let's see, what kind of fuel? And we're like, we think it smells like diesel. And then I look down, we have a little bit of a leak. So I think it turns out when we install that diesel air heater. Yeah, yeah that looks good. There's like a vent line and the tack that we're on, the vent line is now like higher because we also filled up the tank. So time to do some work. All right, here's where we have the little leaky. There's a vent line, there's two lines. One, this is a fuel to the pump. This is a vent from the tank. And that is what is leaking. So we'll plug it right here. And I should also plug it at the tank because we don't need that vent anymore. Yeah, this might work. So I'm making dinner. I'm gonna do some wraps. We have some roasted turkey breast, cheese, some other yumminess here, jalapenos. Oh, it's gonna be a great little little wrap. Perfect for a nice light dinner meal for first passage. First day's passage. Yes, I am all hungry. So good. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. It is 11 o'clock at uh, p.m. and uh, we are cruising about seven knots, and uh, we've got uh, 13 knots of wind on the beam. So the wind is actually really good. The seas have been really good, and. Uh, I'd be lying to you if I told you that I was doing good. I have been uh, quite seasick, uh, thrown up a few times, and I uh, can't really keep any food down. I've been drinking water and trying to get better, but uh, this first day is pretty rough on me. Uh, I anticipated that, though. I'm really hoping I'll get better, but for now, um, things are going well, and we're just going to keep on moving along and uh, keep on going. I've had an amazing shift so far. Pretty epic. And we are still going about seven knots. Killing it. The sea state's uh, gotten a little better. A little more swell action. Not as much chop, but I think it's gonna be a beautiful night. The moon's already out. I'm excited about seeing some stars on my next shift, hopefully. And hopefully Speedy gets to feel a little better. And always the first couple days can be a little, a little squishy. So, it's been great. light wind. So we're trying to master the light wind today. Get used to the ocean. Speedy's feeling a little bit better. Taking a little nap. And I'm feeling good. 
some nudes, with some butter. My watch has been kind of frustrating during light winds to figure out what to do with the sails. Went upwind a little bit to get the apparent back up since our track is just north. Uh, going a little bit, uh, a little bit east won't do us any harm. I'm just getting into some Peaky Blinders starting the season. Pretty good. I still have another four hours till I have to do anything. This is the state of things. Yeah, we're just ghosting along. That's good though. Amanda, you're doing a great job keeping the boat moving in these light conditions. I'm trying. Sailing in light wind is the hardest yeah, thing about sailing. Fuck it all up. Go fuck it up, Speedy. <laughs> yeah, it the makes you feel life. like you're putting in work and you're playing, you can play around with the sails and see how they respond. And then you feel like you're actually doing something. Because most of this has just been us sitting around. <laughs> yeah. So I purposely like mess around with things. It's see hardest to extract energy out of this super light air. It's warm today. What about 84? Wow. Yeah, 84.3 oh, yeah, degrees. It's just it's stagnant. Like super warm. Water. 88 degrees in the cabin. I'm gonna go back and watch some more Peaky Blinders. You want a cookie? Watching Peaky Blinders makes me want to drink whiskey and smoke all the time. Yeah. That's all they ever do. It is all they do. Or they're fighting. It's hard to smoke and drink and fight at the same time. I think they can do it. But, yeah. So calm. Hey, Panda here, go ahead. Hey, I just saw you over there. I wanted to say hello. It's been a few days since we'd seen another boat. Where are you guys headed? Ha, that's awesome. Actually, just a few minutes ago, we saw you as well. We left Puerto Rico just two days ago, heading to Bermuda. And how about you guys? Oh, very nice. We left Long Island, Bahamas last Thursday, and we're headed to St. Thomas. Oh, that's awesome. Right on. Yeah, yeah, very cool, very cool. Well, I just wanted to say hello because we were out here in the middle of nowhere for so long, and we finally saw another boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's pretty exciting when you see someone else. How much uh, longer do you think you guys have? See St. Thomas, like two more days, maybe? Yeah, so we have about 210 miles to go, so we're hoping two more days. How about you guys? Yeah, let's see. We have 620 more, so I think like five more days or so. The weather looks like the wind should fill in a bit, and then. Um, I know for us, I guess in a couple of days, we have a little bit like a cold front blowing through. It should get up to like 25 plus maybe, so that will get exciting. Uh, I know that you guys will probably be further south by the time that blows through. Is that true? That's what we're hoping for. Um, I guess it just depends how far south we can get in the next day or two. What was the name of your boat again? One Life. Okay, One Life. Uh, do you guys uh, do social media stuff? Yeah, we have an Instagram page and a Facebook page. It's Sailing One Life. How about you guys? We do the same as well. Our vessel name is Panda, so it's Sailing Panda, just like the bear. Very cool. All right, you guys. Well, I just wanted to say hi and safe travels. Hell yeah. Safe travels to you guys, too. And enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy this freaking awesome sunset. And uh, I hope you guys make it safe to USVI. That should be quite enjoyable there. Yes, and same to you guys in Bermuda. I'm also thinking like, oh my gosh, there's a sailboat over there and there's like-minded people and you don't see very many sailboats. Well, boats, never mind sailboats. Yeah. And you're out. One life. All right. Okay. You only have one life. That's right, only one life. Well, it's morning of day three, and I'm on the 
sunrise watch. One of my first sunrise watches, I think, uh, on this trip, really. And it is just glorious. The sun hasn't quite come up yet, but I did get to witness a really pretty moonset where the moon was setting right on the horizon and it looked just like this bright orange globe. It was uh, surreal. And then I'm off to bed. Look at these mad cutting skills. Life on a tilt. Well, it's making a little lunchy. Here today on day three of passage, Panda's making a delicious wrappy. Yeah, I'm excited. Woke up hungry. And what are you making, Darren? I don't know what to call it. Chili Mac? Damn, that's a good term. Chili Mac. <laughs> well, Darren just uh, rigged up the Mizzen Spinnaker, which I'm calling a Mizzaker. Not actually sure what the formal name is. Does it matter? It's both things. We call her Jane, after Jane Fonda, because the uh, workout colors. an 80s style trash bag. Yeah. I think she's uh, symmetrical and we thought she was asymmetrical. Not sure if uh, she's the right size for this, for what we're doing, but we're trying it because it's a little light winds and we're kind of bored happens after a few days on the water. When you feel some more energy flowing, Darren has decided to play with the sails. Also, I didn't show it earlier, but this thing has been super squeaky. And Darren decided to lube it up a little bit. I think it helps. We'll see. Your mission when you're on passage is always to get rid of all the creaks and the groans that you hear because it's really annoying. Very annoying. Gets old really quickly. Ah. Looks like the fishing line got fouled up again. I'm actually surprised that there's this much sargasm here. I don't know why there is this much. Maybe someone can tell me. But we put out the fishing lines today. Day three, in hopes to catch some fish or some fish tacos, safe de Mayo. So we kind of missed out on Cinco de Mayo, so every day is going to be something like De Mayo. Let it go, let it go. Good. Now I just need to catch a fish. Day three, and um, it's uh, my shift again. We are 490 miles from the destination, and as you can see, we have a beautiful sunset behind us. And, um, been a lot better day today for me, feeling better. Um, still not 100%, but definitely uh, better and better every day. Uh, actually, been a tough day of sailing, a lot of upwind work, um, which I didn't realize how bad that was. I was like, oh, the wind's behind us, it'd be great. No, it doesn't work that way. It's been a good day. Um, really relaxing out here. Just gotta reminisce on how great and like 
nice this experience is. Uh, probably wouldn't have said that a couple days ago when I was feeling really rough, but now that I'm feeling better, I'm like, yeah, it's it's really nice. Uh, I do miss home. I wouldn't lie. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't be lying. But uh, it's it's nice to be out here. And it's a change of pace and definitely a change of scenery. attack. You can see the slick we've created just upwind of us, so our boat is pretty well drifting just downwind. I don't think we're moving fore or aft. This is the first time we've done it in higher winds. We have like 17, 18 knots of wind. But, uh, I have the mizzen sheeted in tight here. I have the helm all the way to windward. Yeah, here's a good view of our slick right here. What do you think, Panda? That's good. Yeah? Yeah. I think this will work. Yeah. Heaving 2 is a practice used for sailors to ride out storms or simply park the boat in a more comfortable fashion. Little did we know we would use this tactic in the coming days. Stay tuned in the next episode for some rough weather sailing. Phone a friend, Maggie. <laughs> I'm gonna take up smoking. I'm not even smoking. So instead, I'm gonna eat cookie. Mm -hmm. Stress eating. Tomato, tomato, potato. I've also been playing this game of um, seeing how long the flying fish will be above the water. My, the record is currently 18 seconds. He even like went like above the waves, like woo, and like went, kept going. He was going for a long time. Pretty big one. That's the record. Lines on lines on lines. I was just coming on deck and I spotted how close a flying fish, a really large flying fish, was going to enter the boat. Nothing.